Greetings and salutations, everyone. Uh, let me get some things set up here. There we go. Uh, greetings and salutations, everyone. We're going to be doing some reference images and reference art for Wilhelm today in our token creation portion of the house specials. So hopefully you guys are good with that. Uh, before we started, I wanted to go ahead and let me get this playing here. There we go. Um, Adrian von Ziegler, since it's already up, I'll go ahead and, and talk about it. Adrian von Ziegler is the person I use for a lot of my uh, copyright free, uh, copyright free, <clears throat> uh, fair use, I should say, um, music and such like that. So hopefully you guys are able to enjoy that along with me. Let me see. We are going to have, let me know if that's too loud. I'm watching the chat. Let me know if that's too loud. But this is Adrian Von Ziegler's YouTube, if you want to check it out. And I am currently playing Two Hours of Relaxing Music, Part 3 of 3, it says. So, there we go. Now, come over here, because uh, we're going to be doing, this time, a, a search and how I reason out and some considerations for finding reference images and reference art for when you're making and looking at tokens uh, if you're creating your own tokens and if you're not creating your own tokens well what else would you want to look at so um, let me go ahead and pull up my file system too because i'll need to get those on there but you guys don't have to see that but i want to make sure i have it up in case i need to look at it so there we go lay it down <clears throat> now why don't we go ahead and get into it because I think that would be a good thing to do since we're going to be jumping around and doing different things. So the first, uh, the first thing I'm going to look at when I'm, present, when I'm presented with the task of making a, uh, when I'm making a character token that's going to be for a specific character is you're going to have to think about, well, this, this time I'm going to think about, well, what is this character? It's a minotaur. Or so what species is it would be a good way to look at it. So I'm going to look up minotaur. And we can just start right there. Minotaur are pretty easy, or at least bull men are pretty easy to get reference images for. So let's pop over to the image tab. And you can see there's a whole bunch here. You have a few different types. A lot of them are going to be your bipeds, uh, which are very much like the what you see in the Warcraft um, uh, Warcraft is going to have a lot of art for it and such like that that have the hooves and the like which is usually fine that's that's what I kind of prefer but sometimes you'll also see more like this which is actually more traditional to the Greek myth if I'm understanding the Greek myth correctly that there was it was more of a bull head with the rest being a human body. And so you can take that avenue too. This one seems to take that one, uh, which does allow them to have, <coughs> excuse me, does allow your characters in universe to have an excuse for wearing magical, uh, wearing boot equipment. Uh, I actually think it's fun if you can do it to switch it around where you don't have that, where they do need special equipment. But that's going to be dependent upon what you want to do for your characters and what the setting is doing. That's kind of important to think about when you are making these characters up. And the reason I'm thinking about that, just so you know, is because I want to use this art for token art, not just the, not just the uh, headshot token, the bust token, but the actual full-on character art token. So that's why I'm considering that. If you're not going to do that with yours, then you don't have to worry about it. So you're considering their, uh, the species of the creature that you're, you're making the art for in this token, and then you are also considering how large of a view you're taking of that, spe of that creature. So that's something to think about. I think I might use we might you we might save this one. Let's save him jazz. And we'll just go over here to I'll put this over. Well, you guys can't see this anyway. Never mind. Uh, cuz I did it 
I did it right when I was doing it. Oh. So we're going to put that, save it over here. And I'll put these into my actual drive, my secondary drive later. So I'm going to have a few images to see what I want to pick from. Uh, that one's pretty cool because I, I like the way how the, going back to it, I like how thick everything is because bulls and cows in general are thick. Now it's funny because when you look at them, they're pretty thick, but all creatures kind of have spindly legs when you get down to it, or at least most of them. So, eh, you know, you don't have to be too crazy about it. Um, this one, see, this one does a thing where it hides the legs. Which is, which is a tactic you can use, and I might employ that. Um, this one isn't necessarily good for my use. Um, this is interesting how this person added, let me see, this is William O'Connor Studios, so I'm assuming this is his. He added in, this may be the gauntlets, or these may be actual talons. It's, uh, let me see if I can open a new tab. It looks like, It looks like it is, okay, see, there's the thumb. So it looks like these are part of the gauntlet, which is an option. But I, I would be interested in seeing if we could mix in a few things into this, this particular species of minotaur. That might be fun. So we'll, we'll keep that in mind as we're looking for these images. Um, so you can pop down into the comments here comment section if you want to present your own personal if you want to say hey I've liked the character the minotaur image from this or that particular piece of media so there's an option there if you want to do that um, let me see let's get one that's got a pretty good reference point for the feet this is the second one we got this is D&D &D official stuff from D&D &D Beyond that's fine you see that a lot of the See, a lot of the art here, let me pull that up. A lot of this art uses four fingers for the beast races sometimes, which is fine. Uh, it still gives them enough for an opposable thumb. You see this in Ninja Turtles too, where they only have three fingers, but that's a little beside the point. The, I don't think that's something I wanna do for the Minotaur here. And I don't much care for I don't much need a reference like this. This looks weird. This AI art, because cow toes don't look like that. This is probably some AI art on D&D Beyond, because cow toes don't look like that, and that pinky doesn't wrap around fully like it's supposed to. So that might be some AI art on D&D Beyond. I don't know. Anyway, we'll close that one out. Don't like that one that much. Um, let's see. This is interesting. It goes more for the... Uh, where is this from? Let's see. Mm, oh, it's in Pinterest. Can't really find it. So, let me see. This looks like 3D modeling, maybe AI. I don't know that I like it, though. <laughs> I like my Minotaur fuzzy. At least the head. That makes more sense to me to have the head fuzzy, for sure. So not, I don't care for that one. Uh, this one, see, it's fuzzy, but perhaps you guys can see, this is how hooves are supposed to look on a, on a cow. Not the way that other person had them. So that's not a bad reference point. Uh, I don't like how fuzzy it is though, so maybe we'll move over. This one's interesting. That almost looks like a hyena with the way its shoulders are built out. I wonder. No, I don't want to mix in too much bestial type of stuff. I want them to be uh, pretty well recognizable as humanoid. Um, so this one, you can see these armor pieces here. That's not a too bad of an idea to to show the how these are shod. These shoes are these hooves are shod, which is what you could do for your for your animal races. Um, I don't know, we may come back to that one. Not loving it, but we may come back to it. Um, this one looks like for, it's from Warriors of Myth. Not too bad. It's basically just a jacked, <laughs> a jacked one taking on some Spartan-esque or maybe Athenian soldiers. I'm not sure. 
but uh, there you go. I think about Roman colors, so maybe it's just mixing different things. Not, I don't want them, I would like to have some more believable physiology, so I will want to get some, some bull images, though I have cattle, so I can kind of get a mental idea already. This one's not bad. It's much more humanoid in the face. I don't want that for these. So that uh, there's a consideration there. How humanoid do you want your humanoid race? I'd like to have a nice balance between humanoid features with not with animalistic different uh, different animalistic qualities. So don't need that one. Uh, this one's very classic. I may just save this one for its classic nature. So we'll save this one here. All right. Now, uh, there's this symbol here. Da, da, da. This one's, pr like I said, this one's pretty classic. I don't like these hands, though. I don't think they fit well for it. Um, so one of the things that you should consider, too, as you're looking through your reference images, this one looks pretty good, though. Realms of Chirac, the D and D project, Minotaur racial class. So, if you want to check that out, let's see. You see how it hides it? It's almost ambiguous right here, on what type of what type of foot they're going with. You've got the large quads, which are usually referencing uh, referential for a. Or they lead to the idea of these small of actual hooves rather than feet. To have that large of a quad because you ha are you're using that muscle differently, but <clears throat> it's ambiguous enough to be either way. Um, I'm not going to use this one, but this isn't too bad. This almost has a goat-like quality though here. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, because these cow ears are not sharp. Sometimes goat ears can be sharper looking than cow ears. Not all the time. Of course, you can crop ears and cut them. I don't know that I want to do ritualistic cutting in my setting for animal races, so I probably won't do that. And see how pointed these are? A lot of cow horns, cow horns can be pointed, but I don't suppose they're too terribly pointed. They're just, there's not a lot of cow horns that are shaped that way. And we're looking for a minotaur. So we're going to come, we're not going to use that one. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's an. This is actually what uh, foreign minotaur type of stuff would look like. So that Greco, uh, that Greco one. So you see the regular hands, regular feet, just a tail and bull head is very common in those myths. So that might be useful to look at. This isn't actually as crazy as you would think. This image here, Con Ironhorn masterpiece of onyx and obsidian. This isn't too bad actually, because see how this head is oversized, or it looks oversized for a human? That's not actually too oversized for a cow, for a bovine, because they have pretty large heads compared to humans and in ratio to their body, it's larger than a human's. So I actually might save this one, save image as. So that's saved. We'll kind of use that one, and it's cartoon. It's more cartoony than our last few references, which means it gives me a, a nice range to pull from, which is useful for you when you are looking at these. Um, let me let's pull away from these fictional ones for a second because we're about 15 minutes in, and I want to make sure that we can choose some actual anatomical references. So. Cattle breeds. Oops. This will help us pick what type of minotaur and what type of cattle we want to go with. So let's do something. We've got, like, see how thick that is and how large the head is compared to the rest of the body and stuff like that. You can use that as reference points. But this type of a chart is really good for what we're talking about. So let's pull this up. There we go. So you can see an Angus here. He's got this huge hump on his back. That's, 
that's characteristic of the Angus, but there's Angus, but their head's smaller. Now look at a Brangus. Lots of people like Angus. Let's look at the Brangus. It's much more stream. It, it's much more balanced. The shoulders aren't quite as large. You've also got Charlets, which are almost always white. That's part of their breed. And they have also something closer to a Brangus, but the shoulders even lower, but the haunches are thicker. And so they're kind of, they've got more meat on the haunch on their butt back here than the Brangus does, closer to an Angus. But y y you can see, you've got eyes. Yeah. Unless you're not, unless you're blind and you're watching. And if you're blind and you're watching, I'm doing a fine job of explaining. <laughs> but a, like a Red Angus has a similar build to a Charlet, but it's got a bit beefier shoulders and thinner haunch on the back. So there's that. And you have mixed breeds all in these. So I think this will be a very good reference one for us. And technically, any of these breeds can have horns bred into them. So you can just add some horns in. So we are going to save as. And we're going to have to retitle this one. Cattle breeds. Okay. So this will be very useful. Um, and something very classic is something like this for Coriet, Cornet, which looks a lot like those bulls from Spain and you see them in the bull runs and such like that. That's why they're so characteristic. Um, let's see. I think this works fine. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave that off. Now let's put cattle horn types. And something as simple as these keywords give you a lot to pull from. So uh, here's what we're kind of looking for. This is a species identification, whose horns are whose, biology stack exchange, it says. So here we go. Check these out. This is useful. Let me see if I can get zoomed in for you. There we go. See how useful this is to give you an idea about horns? There's, can you see the bison? Which I do want to have bison. I don't want these minotaurs to be bison-esque. But I do want to have uh, minotaur, bisonar, whatever you want to say in there. As well as these others inside the grander uh, animal kin of the eastern woodlands. So uh, a lot of these in here would be good. So let's go ahead and save as and we'll put horn. Let me see what this was actually titled. Those, I'll title it correctly. Those horns belong 56 varieties. All right, that's saved now, which means we now have that for our reference point. So, very nice, very useful. And that means we can actually go back now to our fantasy since we've got a lot of, uh, since our last cattle breed chart that we looked up, it had, if I pull it back up, it has the phys basic physical structure. So this will help us draw upon, this will let us draw upon that to build out the musculature of usually the shoulders, sometimes the haunches, just depending. So let's go ahead and pull this back to the fantasy. Um, here's one very grim dark. Again, they hide the feet some, but it does look like it is. You see this shoulder slope here? That's very characteristic of those animalistic races, especially the Minotaur. And this looks like it's built off of a longhorn style horn. Armor is, looks like Bronze Age. So, or ancient to Bronze Age. And then there's these manes that appear in Minotaur art. And those probably are trying to mix the, the human 
wild the human hair with animalistic mane type of setup that is not in any of the the cattle cattle don't have manes you have long-haired cattle but they're they're usually long-haired all over the place they don't really have manes horses have manes but because humans like to have that kind of similitude there they do hair and it ends up coming out looking like a mane which isn't necessarily bad it's just not anatomically correct for a, a bovine which is fine you don't have to worry about breaking physical norms because you're you're making a fantasy a fantasy creature there's no such thing as a minotaur so you're making a fantasy creature this one isn't too bad this looks like another D and D. Uh, oh, this is Ravnica, so it's by the same company of wizards, which is why it feels similar. This one's a bit more squatty than these last somewhat realistic ones we've saw. It's much more similar to this one, but I think I like the the cartoon nature of this one more than I like this one. So let's come over here. This one's a bit more realistic, but it has those hoof feet. This one's very classic as far as what it does. It does have the mane, but that's not too that that's not a deal breaker or anything. It has the sharp ears, which we again don't necessarily see in cattle. So uh I like the shield idea. Let me see if I can find let's do a this Minotaur wields a great sword instead of a battle axe most minotaur you're going to see are going to look like this Ooh, there's a better picture of that one let's use this picture who is this picture from uh it's from alcitron the free social encyclopedia okay so let's save this one we'll say minotaur Al Citron. I think that's what that says. Hmm. We'll save it as that and then I'll come back to it and fix it up, I think. Alcatron. Something like that. Alright. Now I want to have some great sword images. This is a fantasy great sword, because we're going and the reason I'm getting so many images is we're going to need to have multiple images because oh I see you. I was got, getting caught up in my explanations. Hey, Avenue. A little late, but the kids decided you'd be... Did you update? Yep, up today. Didn't get to last week. Sorry, guys. Um, I know several Minotaur would be less than pleased say you're, you say they don't exist. That's very true. That's very true. I'm saying they don't exist, but oh well. That They can come and tell me about it. I'll use this one, too. So they can come and tell me about it. This is a minute. Oh, a Minotaur Monk by Butterfrog on DeviantArt, if you want to check that one out. So we're going to save this as an inspiration also. Save. I'm a sucker for a Charlay. See how there's these built-in... This is something you can do with your animal races. They can do different types of equipment than other species can't. And that can be an advantage to playing them, too. Like this... A Minotaur gets a free gore attack because it's got horns if it has horns it can do that and it can also modify those horns to make them more or less uh, to make them more deadly so that is an option so just because they can't wear these uh, normal shoes like other adventurers they can do other things that other adventurers can't humanoid adventurers can't so don't think that they're don't count them out instead make things more unique to them depending on where you are and how common they are um, all right, so we need to get to. Do, 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 do. We need to get to Minotaur with great. Well, let's do sword first because that will help us narrow some things down. This one's not too bad. Ooh, that's got a pretty good, uh, more realistic face to it, also. Body's built out more beefy because it's a beefy cow. That's not bad. It doesn't fit with this art style that I'm going for, though. But that's not bad if you want to reference that one. Who is that? Uh, Minotaur, Greatsword, Heroic Fantasy. Uh, it's off of Pinterest again. Don't know. So, that's a little annoying. 
Um, let me see. This one's a Warhammer. That has almost an Egyptian kind type of look to it, though. So if you want to check that out, that's not a bad idea. Um, I'm saying here's one with a sword. See, here's one of my problems with calling this a Minotaur. Okay. We are omnivores. Cattle aren't. If you mix us, they're going to be more, they would be omnivorous, but lean closer towards a, a vegetarian style diet. These type of teeth, this looks more like a horned Sasquatch to me, or some kind of mix of beast than it does anything else. Maybe like a bugbear. This doesn't really look like a minotaur to me. So, no win on that one. It says armored minotaur by Kagehisha. So I don't... You can like that one. And check it out if you want to. But that's not the minotaur I'm looking for. Um, looks like I'm going to have to say great sword that's not a minotaur come on now that's just some some poor ai i tell you what that's not that's, i don't like that uh, that might actually be somebody's work though so i don't want to slide him too much but it says credit fairy tale design so i don't know that doesn't look much like a minotaur to me too human you could do a more of a goat centaur a uh, satyr type of individual that way if you want to because they are presented as being a lot more humanoid up top so uh, let's see oh i don't see a lot here that i'm vibing with for this particular character of wilhelm because wilhelm is a is a strong warrior and stuff like that this is an interesting take on the minotaur Huh. All right. I don't think I'll use that one, but I do see the, the appeal for it. Um, let me see. Let's change our search parameter. We've got a little bit of time left. Let's change our search parameter parameter to be Minotaur with Great Sword. We might have to get hyperbolic and say Huge Sword if we can't find it here. Mm, no. That's a nice blend, though. That's a nice blend of creatures. Just human enough. Ooh, that's really good, actually. I'm going to save that just because. So, we're going to save that one. That is Ayana Ver Venge. Yeah. Ayana Venge Heroes 3 Fan Art Minotaur King. So that's pretty good. That's that's a good piece of art. The head is not way too big or way too small. The neck is the neck the traps and stuff like that are still oversized for a normal human's uh, anatomy, but you're still getting that blend down to the shoulders, so you still have that bulk. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, let me see. We're, we're almost to time. I wanted to try and find Great Sword. Because the Great Sword that he's using, because I'm going to have to do two pieces of art for, for him, for Wilhelm. Because Wilhelm is... That's too blurry. That's not terrible, but it's too blurry. Uh, Wilhelm has two versions. After, before, in the first and most of the second um, season, he has normal fur. But after that, he gets he gets scarred. His fur gets a little discolored, like lightning stripping up from where he grabbed the sword that he had to roll to be able to use the Dragon's Bane sword. So, to fight dragons extra well. So, uh, he'll have to have a little bit of a discoloration on his, on his secondary art. And I may have to play with it a little bit. But, alright. Let's see if we can do one more change to find a great sword huge. With huge sword. Minotaur with huge sword. Uh, I see a huge minotaur and a guy with a sword. This one's not bad. That looks a lot more like a goat, though. 
that looks a lot like a goat. It's not terrible. You can always use humanoid poses with the swords if you need to. But it's nice to have something that's already addressing the different musculature and how it would move in the action pose, usually in an action pose. Uh, we are just about, we are at time. Okay, this is, this is one of those silly ones. All right. This is a Minotaur from King Dragon's Crown. And if you know the art from Dragon's Crown, it is definitely not anatomically correct, but it is worth showing off sometimes. Like in this case, that's the Minotaur from there. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, we're not doing Wilhelm that way because that takes the neck, the shoulders, all the way down to the back. Yeah, that's pretty... That's not what we're doing this time, guys. But I understand why people just get fascinated with that weird art sometimes. Um, it doesn't look like we are having much luck. In which case, you would go to human reference points. There's this one. That's not terrible. It's a little blurry, though. Um, so let's close this. I don't know, gents. Do, do, do. Well, that is, let me see if I can get, uh, we can get, have a little bit of a success, a bit more with Minotaur costume. Yeah. Minotaur costume design. No, not kids costume. No, no, no. That's not terrible, but he's not holding anything. No. That's pretty good. This is the one from, I think that might be the one from Narnia. Yeah, it says right there, Narnia. Okay. Um... I thought I might have had some luck with a few there, but all right. We'll just do great sword pose. This isn't terrible for how the confidence is presented with Wilhelm. That's not bad. It's a little exaggerated. Well, it's hard to tell. This might be a little bit better. This might not be too bad. Because he has a regular greatsword that he started with. Hmm. Alright, I won't bog y'all down with trying to figure out what pose to go with. But this is how I basically find reference images and reference art for making up these character these character images uh oh hold on there's a good one we'll use this this is great sword warrior skillshare projects uh let me come over here open it up whoa it's big these are just silhouettes which is fine so i actually will save this save it in jazz great sword poses Save that. All right, so now we have these different poses that we can use with the great sword. And he is a minotaur, so he can handle any kind of big old great sword I want to give him. That's not a big problem. Uh, I may need to find some sword references to do it, but until then, I'm not going to worry about it. And you don't have to either. So we're going to close this. And he does have a breastplate but that's not a big deal to find either and it's going to be a special kind of breastplate anyway it's an enchant it's a a pass down one so i'm not going to worry too much all right y'all this seems like a good place to stop we've got some reference images that were being necessary for us to continue um, next time we will i'll be in a different location so you probably you definitely won't see my face but i'm not sure how well the internet is there 
uh, I will try to keep you guys updated on if I'm going to do it or not that day. Uh, maybe, maybe on, I might tell you bef early that day or on Sunday uh, through the YouTube community tab if I'm going to do it next to next Monday because I'm gonna like I said be in a different location at the moment at that time but until then hopefully you will have a great time and I will have a great time and we will all have great times so uh, tomorrow come we come out with no one can hear you scream that is the around the hearth discussion section that went up uh, that's going up then it's already ready and is going to release at 11 p.m. to uh, 11 a.m. tomorrow so check that out and we'll see you in that but uh yeah check out the iopc.com if you want to support us and help us out uh and uh good deal mustache and uh we'll see you then as always have a great day god bless and enjoy bye